This is a technique used to land the UH-60 with no tail rotor. This airframe provides a significant challenge when landing with no tail rotor as this uh, giant powerful engine creates uh, such an amount of torque that uh, the tail wants to kick out at about 130 kilometers per hour um, and that thus renders the uh, rolling landing technique like we do in the UH-60 impossible. So we do kind of a combination of an auto rotation and the, um, the no tail rotor rolling landing. We're going to get on a runway heading, uh, establish a decent glide scope, and then just before the tail uh, starts to kick out, we will uh, kill power to the engine via the scroll wheel, and then try and ride the glide all the way down. Uh, once we hit uh, wheels on the ground, the, frame, the aircraft is going to have a propensity to try and list to one side or the other. You have to fight that list and then just kind of take ride the wheels where they take you. Uh, you can't turn on wheel brakes once we've got it somewhat under control and we know we're not going to roll one way or the other. Um, but uh, you are really at the mercy of the aircrafts uh, at that point. You want to do this into the wind. You want to have your wheel brakes off. And uh, I should note that this technique was developed by one of the cab's best pilots, Mr. Cody Stroke Broussin. Stroke, stroke. So props to him for figuring this out. It is the only way that we've uh, come up with that you can land this thing with no tail rotor on a somewhat consistent basis. So let me go ahead and break the rotor now. And I've already turned my wheel brakes off, so I'm going to find the runway, establish the glide scope, and bleed some speed. And I happen to know that somebody came in here while I was fiddling around, so he's on one of the runways. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to take the smaller runway. And right now, we're right on the razor's edge of that tail coming out. Go ahead and kill power once we're close to the runway. off. Okay. See how it listed to the right there? Get my wheel brakes on. And we are down. It's not easy, but it may just save your bacon. After reviewing the last landing on video, I did notice that I hit a small bush that kind of helped me slow down, so this is a different approach, um, same technique, and you can see how wildly different the takeout or the uh, post-landing roll is. Uh, this one, I've kind of rolled, and it went off to the right, and quite a sustained roll, so just for example's sake. Certainly not pretty, uh, and I forgot to have my toe brake set for my uh, wheel brakes, but it gets us down.